Your subscriptions are slowly dying, but there is one behind the scenes feature that SAM card has that can protect you from the rising threat of recurring payments and protect that beautiful, precious subscription income you worked so hard to build. In this video, we're gonna talk to you guys about declined subscription payments and how SAM card's subscription saver feature works behind the scenes to save our creators hundreds of thousands of dollars every single month. Okay, Scott, we gotta come in with the research. I found this research from on LexisNexis, pretty reputable source. What, what are the stats that we found about failed payments, delinquent credit cards, just customers not fulfilling payment plans? What do we got? Yeah, I mean, the headline says it all, right? Is that Acuity said that in, this is in 2021, so this is probably not even, this could be updated, right? Uh, but failed payments cost the global economy $118 billion in 2020, right? They went and surveyed a bunch of businesses. 60% of them said, I'm losing customers to failed payments. Only, what was it? Less than 50% of them are doing something about it, even though every single business said they're disappointed with the amount of failed charges that they get, right? This is the silent killer. This is the kind of thing that you don't look under the hood, you don't really understand how or why it happens, and it slowly eats away at your sales every single month. Ask yourself right now, if you're watching this video, when a failed payment comes through, what do you do about it? What happens to your business? If you're just sitting back and passively letting it happen, what's going to happen is the subscription business that you have, whether those are payment plans, unlimited subscriptions, things for coaching or memberships or whatever, are slowly ticking down to zero, right? And you need to start pitting more and more people in just to replenish the pot, let alone to actually keep growing, right? So here's the really awesome thing. Same card has a feature called Subscription Saver. It works entirely behind the scenes. You don't need to do an absolute thing. Get SAM card scale, and this is exactly what happens. We went and pulled some really awesome numbers from a bunch of SAM card marketplaces just to show the power of how much money Subscription Saver can actually save you. This first screenshot is from Ali Abdal's SAM card account, right? Which saved him close to $62,000 in payment plans off of his PTYA launches that he did, right? So $62,000 recovered automatically without him having to do a thing because SAM card is reaching out to these failed payment customers and protecting the payment plan income that he should be collecting anyway. The other two that we found were Art of Documentary with Mark Bone. He was able to save, recover, I should say, $56,000. And these are not just like prospects. These are not sales that would have happened. These are customers that have put their credit card down, say, I want this product and just never fulfilled the promise at the end. So he saved over 56000 The biggest one that we found so far and if you're selling high ticket products, this is something you should pay attention to. Ship30 has saved over $293,000 using Subscription Saver from their customers. All the customers that are on a payment plan that where their credit card just failed or maybe it maxed out, they are able to go in and automatically recover those lost sales. Jordan, I'm doing some quick math that pays for SAM card for about 200 years. Perfect. Yep. So uh, not bad. Not <laughs> bad, guys. Pretty excited about that. But yeah, basically the idea here is that payment plans, recurring subscriptions of any kind, right? That those things are constantly failing, right? You, 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 you hope they don't, right? Why would someone's credit card fail? Well, the truth is it can fail for a ton, a ton of reasons, right? And if you're not doing anything to fight that actively, right, then you're missing out on this kind of revenue, right? That you could just be tacking onto your bottom line by making sure that you are protecting those subscriptions. So Jordan, let's talk about how it works, okay? Here's a test marketplace that we have. Basically, here's what happens. Let's say you buy a subscription from me last month on the first, right? And this month on the first, your next payment fails. Okay, what's gonna happen is uh, Sam Cart, the moment that payment fails is gonna put an email in your inbox and we'll pu put a screenshot up here that you guys can see. We're gonna put an email in your inbox with a unique link where you can update your card right from your email inbox, right? It's gonna take you to a secure page that's just for you, it's cookied for you, it's no, you know, whatever. And we're gonna go ahead and have you update your card right there on the spot. Jordan, if you ignore that email, let's say you don't do anything, okay. right? Well, that's when things really start to get interesting because Sam Card is gonna kick in on smart retries, okay? So basically, if on the first, your payment fails and you ignore that email, you didn't see it. Well, on day four, right? So three days later, we're gonna try again. Right, We're gonna tempt your credit card again. If it fails again, you get another email in your inbox with a unique link to update your card, right? Same thing's gonna happen two more times, okay? So basically it's four attempts to save your payment over the course of about 16 days, which is like a mathematical equation. There was this guy, his name was like Alfred Dunning or Robert Dunning or something kind of like that. And he basically said that trying 
four times over this many days is perfect. It usually spans two paychecks for people. It's usually a long enough time for credit card companies to kind of like get a sense of who you are if they somehow don't recognize you as a merchant, right? It is a mathematical equation to maximize exactly this, to save as much revenue as possible. We're here in Sam Card, Scott. How do we get it set up? How do we... What needs to happen or is there, does anything need to happen for us? The best part is very little needs to happen. If you want to do nothing, then do nothing, right? And just let this run, all right? We've got emails that are going to run this for you. You can come back here at any time and get a sense of, okay, cool. How many people have reached one failed payment versus how many of them have, have I recovered right in that first payment or second or third or fourth email, right? Uh, you'll get a, a recent activity line item where you'll see your emails and and who's on which email, you know what I mean? So you have, you can actually see one person kind of go from uh, email number one to email number two, email number three. You can see people progress through subscription saver, right? You'll see exactly how many people are currently in recovery, which means they are inside of the four payments, right? And how many people are delinquent. That's our word for if this doesn't work, right? This process doesn't work whatsoever. And someone goes from payment, decline charge one, two, three, four, ignores all of them, doesn't do anything to update their card then Sam Card cancels their subscription, right? Subscription and ends the subscription at that point and marks them as delinquent is what it is. So there's some extra reports where you guys can export people who are currently in recovery or currently delinquent. And then there's the settings area, right? All this is back here. This is maybe the most customizable piece of this is if you want to open up any of these emails and change the text, you can do that, right? So the first Dunning email, maybe I want to come back here and change the subject line, right? Maybe I want to change the body copy and I want to add in some some extra details, right? Uh, you can do this and bring in uh, certain short codes. So you can bring in the customer's name, you can bring in the product name, you can bring in the price. There's a bunch of short codes you can sort of inject in here and Samcart dynamically will send that out to the customer. But customizing these Dunning emails is great. You should always make it feel more like you, make it feel more like your brand. And if you guys want, we actually have a Dunning sequence that you guys can go grab. It's gonna be at try.samcart.com slash Dunning. We'll put that link up on the screen. You guys can go there, grab what we send in our Dunning sequences, right? What we've tested and what we've offered to a bunch of Samcart customers as well. You can go get those emails uh, and we highly recommend, you know, dropping those into your Dunning sequence as well. Now, here's the cool part, right, is obviously this is going to happen on its own, right? But there's some other things, there's some other considerations for you guys to think about, right, is if someone's charge fails, how do I make sure that I protect my premium content, right? How do I make sure that if their subscription is actually canceled, that maybe I can continue the conversation, right? I mean, I wanted to keep talking to them moving forward. And here's exactly how you can do those. What I would do is I would set up integration rules at the product level, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a different marketplace and just go find a product, right? So any subscription product is gonna do here, here's one that's set up, it's, you know, build quarterly. And so I can open up this product and set up integration rules that do two things. First, I wanna make sure that I revoke access from the content this person has, right? When a subscription fail happens, and then I can reinstate them once the subscription charge has succeeded, okay? So new rule, I'm gonna select, uh, I'll use my circle account. Maybe I'm gonna remove them from like a, a space, right? So I will uh, remove this person from a space when, and now I'm gonna select the SAM card trigger that does this. When a subscription charge fails, I'm gonna remove them from a space in circle, okay? That's what I'm doing. And then I just choose the, uh, the circle space that I want. Now, I want to, if subscription saver works, right? I wanna make sure I give them access back to that space, right? So I can go to new rule, I'll do this. I'll do the same thing in reverse, basically, right? So Scott's circle integration, I'm going to add member to a space, and then I'm going to select from Sam Card's triggers, uh, subscription, uh, subscription recovered is what I want, right? So you guys can't see the drop down in this thing, but uh, basically the options that you have in Sam Cart are a subscription charge happens successfully, a subscription is completed, meaning they hit their last payment plan, a subscription is canceled, there's, there's a bunch of different ones. I'm gonna use subscription recovered here, right? And then choose that same space. So now I've created two rules in reverse that are going to automatically protect my best content. And you can do the same thing for courses in Kajabi. You can do the same thing for something in Teachable or you know whatever, all over the place. Wherever your content is, you are now fully protected and making sure that it's even worse. So not only is Sam Card reaching out to the customer to say, hey, update your card, let's do this, right? But it's also revoking access from what they paid for, which is gonna put even more urgency on them to make sure that they update their card and, and get back right with you. Scott, what happens after day 16? You know, they've gone into delinquency. 
Can I still keep talking to them? How do I do that? You can definitely keep talking to them. Again, use the integration rules, right? So you're going to come in here, go to the product that you want, right? I'm going to make a new rule. And so in this time, now I want to talk to them via email, right? So I'll say, I'm going to use MailChimp. I'm going to add them to a list. And then the integration action I'm going to choose in SAM card is going to be uh, subscription delinquent, right? So if someone goes delinquent, they go through Dunning and ignore you, right? They're, nothing's happening. Then all you need to do is go ahead and say, all right, I'm going to add someone to a list, right? Inside of MailChimp, I'll make a special list that's like, you know, delinquent subscriptions. And maybe you just have some email follow-ups that, you know, once every two weeks, you're like, hey, like, come on back, you know, like, let us know, we're going to get you back in here, you've lost access or, you know, whatever. But this way, you'll make sure that in MailChimp, in ActiveCampaign, in ConvertKit, in HubSpot, wherever you're doing your email marketing, right, that you will be sure you know exactly who is current and up to date, who is delinquent and talk to each audience accordingly. Scott, if I'm on yeah, Samcart right now and I want access to a subscription saver, I want to start using it today, what's my first step? Yeah, this tools bar right here, we've got cart abandonment, the affiliate center and subscription saver, right? This tools bar is available in Samcart scale, okay? So again, the kind of thing where it, we showed you guys how much money is being saved. If you have a subscription business, even if you have payment plans, right? Anything where people are paying two or three payments of something, right? Subscription saver is going to pay for SAM cart over and over and over and over and over. I think what we mentioned before is that, uh, what ship 30 has saved, uh, 200 years worth of SAM cart service, uh, just by having subscription saver turned on, <laughs> go upgrade to SAM cart scale. If you don't have a SAM cart account, head to samcart.com slash pricing, grab a SAM cart scale account, turn this on and watch what kind of money this is going to save you. Thank <laughs> you.